So this is the mobile hen house. We got two 20 gallon waterers. Uh, they both work independently of each other. They got both the uh, uh, Paulson's uh, broiler feeder, so it seemed to work the best and they're low profile, so we can kind of bring them up or down as we need them. Um, they work really good for the hens or broilers, whichever. Um, that contraption right there folds up. So if we need to put them out in the field without any netting or anything like that, at night we can close this thing completely off to predators. Um, and then closing that door over there, uh, that keeps out all the predators. Because um, underneath we have a wire mesh that they walk on. And so go inside. We've got all the roost nests up. We have, I believe, a 10 roost, um, roosting bars that span the entire length. Um, and they go up at a slant. So that way it gives us a little bit more room to add a couple more roofs in there. Um, we have the feeders in there now, so just getting them used to going inside. Um, and I did close off their egg, bo egg boxes for the night, so they're not going in there and trying to sleep in there. And then pooping and making a mess. And then on the, uh, the back side, we've got the, uh, the rollout nesting boxes. Um, we modified them, um, and we actually used uh, some metal gutters. And they came with the, these little plastic pieces that came out just as like a single unit. But because we have so many chickens, if, you know, if 10 chickens are using the same box, that would fill up in a couple of hours. So we want to be able to have all of them so they can, they can flow down just in case someone doesn't pick them up as fast as they should be. We should be picking them up every uh, three times a day, twice a day um, at that kind of rate. But just in case, um, that way we don't. We don't have them all coming and cramming and then we have smashed eggs all our that so it's no good but then uh if you come over here on the back side now uh, it's pretty plain we just have just a, a metal wall uh, that we salvaged from an old farm uh, most of this material is all salvaged material uh some of the lumber and then some of the the plastic that we had in here we had to buy new and then the insulation in between the roof and the actual coop space we had to buy new um, but that's pretty much about it. So uh, that's it and we'll catch you guys next time and we'll do another tour around the farm see where our progress is um, This is our processing building over there uh, We're just about to start finishing that up and getting the uh, separation between the, the poultry and the egg side um, So we've got the electricity coming in FPNL should be coming out next week to get that all processed um, and then that should be it for now. And I'll let you guys know as soon as we start getting further on that build. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.